Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Evil West for the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, and PC. You play as Jesse Renter, he is one of the last agents of the Kleinstein Vampire Organization. Your goal is to protect the American frontier from different supernatural monsters, vampires, etc. in the game. The overall presentation of Evil West is the best game I've played and seen in a long time. Graphically, when it comes to the environments, it's on a different level. It's not realistic by a long shot, but it does give it that era of games feeling that you've played in the past. The characters' facial expressions and stuff is another part of the, what stood out to me in this game. When it comes down to the music in the game, it is superb and fits nicely to Evil West. When it comes to the audio in the game, it does have a slight issue with it, but a patch should fix it. Evil West is a third person shooter. Jesse is equipped with powerful guns including a six shot pistol, a rifle, and a flamethrower along with a crossbow. They have melee weapons such as the gauntlet that uses electrical energy and an axe. You can conduct some melee finishers that is great. When it comes to the player progression, you can gain new skills and abilities. You can also level up in the game too. Another feature that is added to this game is that it does have co-op mode in the game. What I love most about this game is that it is not an open world game and it's more so on the linear side. It reminds me of the Xbox 360 and PS3 era with this type of game that is need more of. The storytelling in this game brings out the best of Evil West in a major way. When it comes to some of the abilities you can unlock some of them and you can find it in the treasure chest. The only big flaw that I've seen in this game is that there is some problems when it comes to the leveling up system. When it comes to leveling up, it is very slow. They only give you a point per level up and when collecting money, it's in a small amount. Another downside to Evil West is that the Xbox Series S version of the game as I tested it, that the game is locked at 30 frames per second, which I think a patch should fix that problem. For that, I give Evil West a 5 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for gaming and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel.